how do we get the expression of entropy which is nothing but the average information content of symbols in long independent sequences so let us see how we can find the expression of entropy now let us consider a source s which emits symbols s1 s2 and so on up to sq now these are the symbols s1 to sq which are being emitted with a probability p1 p2 and so on up to pq so what are the probabilities they are p1 comma p2 and so on up to pq right so now we consider a long independent sequence so i am going to consider long independent sequence of length l symbols right so we are going to consider a long independent sequence and what is the length the length is l symbols so now the question is if i multiply p1 which is nothing but the probability of occurrence of symbol s1 into l so i have p1 into l number of messages right so p1 is nothing but the probability of occurrence of symbol s1 into the length l number of messages of type s1 right because it corresponds to the symbol s1 so similarly i have probability p2 into l number of messages of type s2 and so on so similarly we have pq into l number of messages of type sq so how many messages of s1 i have i have p1 into l s2 would be p2 into l and so on so now what is the self information so the self information of symbol s1 is nothing but log 1 by p1 is it it so log 1 by p1 which is nothing but the probability of occurrence of s1 bits and so on the self information of s2 is log 1 by p2 bits and so on so therefore p1 into l number of messages so how many messages i have p1 into l number of messages of type s1 isn't it so i have p1 into l number of messages of type s1 and they contain how many bits of information they definitely contain p1 l into log 1 by p1 bits of information so very simple so in general the self information of s1 is log 1 by p1 bits so here i have how many messages of type s1 p1 into l so i need to multiply this factor by p1 into l so similarly i have p2 into l number of messages of type s2 so therefore i have p2 into l log 1 by p2 bits of information so similarly i have like that pq into l number of messages of type sq will have pq into l log 1 by pq bits of information so what is the total self information so the total self information is all of them added up is it so i have i total is nothing but p1 l log 1 by p1 plus p2 l log 1 by p2 and so on plus p q l log 1 by p q so in all of them what is common l is common so can i take l common outside yes i can do that so let me write it here the side so this expression here i total is equal to so i have l common so i write l 
and then I have p1 log 1 by p1 plus p2 log 1 by p2 and so on up to pq log 1 by pq. So now can I write this as a summation? So this is L summation i equal to 1 to q pi log 1 by pi. So usually here I have log to base 2 so that I get the value in bits. So I have i total divided by L. So if I divide the total self information by the length L, I get summation i equal to 1 to q pi log 1 by pi bits per message symbol, right? Per message symbol. And this is referred to as the average information content. So this is nothing but referred to as the average information content is also called as H of S is nothing but entropy. So the expression of entropy H of S is summation i equal to 1 to q pi log to base 2 1 by pi bits per message symbol. So this is the expression of entropy. So in one of the previous video segments, I've also solved a few problems on entropy. So make sure that you go through that video and solve all the problems. And in the next few classes, we'll deal with the remaining topics of entropy and information theory. So do keep a watch on the upcoming videos. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And thanks for watching.